reading it, and she would just vacuum, and I would follow her around <laughs> shouting. <laughs> So I'm reading, and she gets up and starts back, and she's like, and That's so awesome. here's Curtis shouting behind me, reading about Charlotte Hi, Webb. pig. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Some pig. And then they went to the fair. And I'm like, yeah, keep reading, Curtis. You're doing fine. Connie and Curtis on Channel 95.7. I don't know why, but I would kind of like for you to do that again. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll start vacuuming. <laughs> I don't vacuum. And I'll follow you around reading. I looked around yesterday and thought, I need to vacuum. Oh, no. I don't feel like vacuuming. That's why you need kids. Yeah. Vacuuming is one of the chores. So then uh, I think Wednesday. Wednesday <sighs> night is vacuuming. Oh, really? Yep. Huh. And toilets. Oh. Uh. So today our toilets and carpet are very clean. <laughs> but then as the Thursdays week, are the best day ever. As the week goes on, uh, not so much. Mm. And then I busted them. They weren't cleaning the basement toilet that we never use. So and it's getting that black ring around exactly. it. Exactly. Uh, so I said, "Hey, did you clean all the toilets?" Yeah. Oh, did you do the one in the basement? Yeah. Oh, let's go <laughs> look. Because it gets that ring because uh-huh. no one ever uses it. Right. And there's the ring. And I said, "Oh, well, why did you leave this?" Oh. Yeah, I guess I, I didn't do it this time. Exactly. Is this something that they do together? No. Or do it, they switch off weeks? They switch off. So okay. one person has a list of jobs. Everybody has a list of jobs, and then the names move. Okay. And then, uh, so you know what your job is. <sighs> I know. And we switch on Sunday. So if okay. you have a job that needs to be done on Sunday, you hold out until the switch is done. <laughs> You know, because you don't want to do an extra right. day of it. Right, absolutely. So you'll stick it to your sister. Mm. That's what happens in my house. Huh. And so the garbage will be heaping. And I'll be like, okay, who has garbage? Oh, we're switching. Take out the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> we're not switching yet. <laughs> if your name is still there, you still uh, have to do the job. Oh, your kids are fun. We're switching. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Spilling garbage all over the place. Yeah, I should have had kids. Then they could have... Vacuumed my house last night. Yes, they would have done it for you. Poof is super long right now. Oh, because it's getting... Poof is my cat. Getting folly. Super long, and and the nice thing about Poof, he's a Persian. Okay. And the nice thing about him is that he doesn't shed just everywhere. There's not hair everywhere. Just giant clumps oh, here okay. and there. Dunk. He's very clumpy. Dunk. I don't know how that happens, but just... You, I, I walk in the door, and I can see him every day. Okay. Like, <laughs> you, you can tell where he ran through the house. You follow his plump, trail. Plump, plump, yep. Okay. So at least it's easy to pick clumps up. <laughs> <laughs> now, does that vacuum up? Did you have to get, like, one yeah. of those fancy uh, ones? No. Okay. No, I still have... It's funny, because I still have the same vacuum that I had in college, and it's the best vacuum. We have two no. vacuums. The other vacuum has been replaced probably four times. But you still have that the one. The college one... It's just an old Hoover. Oh, and it just works. And it's like 20 years old. Okay, and it's not yeah. plastic. There's no plastic. I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess where the bag goes, the tops are plastic. Okay, but the rest of it seems to be like metal. Yeah, we it bought, works great. Well, when we first got married, we uh, got like a coupon in the mail. Hey, come to the Hoover store and mm-hmm. get your uh, get your savings on this. And we're like, oh, yeah. And it was a cheap plastic thing. It broke no broke in like two weeks. Oh. You know, just broken. And it, that's why it was free. Right. Here's, here's your free vacuum. Congratulations on being married. I saw somebody on Facebook the other day asking about vacuums. And you wouldn't believe, they got in these conversations about, vacuums are expensive. Oh, they my are. goodness. Like the Dyson whatever ball. Yes. And, yeah. That thing's like 600 bucks. And they said they're super heavy. Okay. Like the really good ones are, are very heavy because he- they're like commercial grade. Is your old one heavy? No. That's what I would imagine it to Super be. Super light. No. Okay. No, this is a cheap one. The okay. old one was a cheap one. And it, it like, works. And it works great. Like it's a never champ. broken. Yeah. That's because it was made to last. Right. Now they're made to be replaced. Right. Well, like everything. Right. Like everything that does that. Mm-hmm. I had a buddy who uh, we had a, an old house. And uh, the air conditioner, when we got the home inspection, mm-hmm. the guy said, this is going to die any day. Just be ready for it. Be ready uh, for it to die. And we lived in that house for 10 years, and it never died. And I had a buddy who did uh, air conditioning, and I said, hey, can you look at this? Do we need a new one? 10 years ago, the guy told me it was going to die. And he said, do not r- pull that out. No. He said, that will run who knows how long. Right. But as soon as you pull it out, yep. the clock starts on the next one because now yep. they're not meant to last for the life of the house. Right. They're meant to get you through five or ten years mm-hmm. and then, hey, you need a new one. Man, yeah, don't get rid of it until you absolutely have yeah, to. Yeah, that's what he said. So then we would just fire it up. Every summer, we'd cross our fingers. Fingers crossed. Is this going to work? <laughs> yeah! 
God. Which Katie was probably secretly hoping it would not because right. she loves the warmth. She she wanted it to be a little warmer, but I like uh, I like seeing that she's cold. You know, I like that. <laughs> adds to you the just uh, buy her sweatshirts and blankets. Adds to the fun a little She'll bit. Be fine. Hey, wear this tank top today. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Daddy likes. Woo. Had to have some boob talk before 6, right. 10 in the morning. Yes. What you need to do <laughs> is get boob talk out of the way, right? Because yesterday was all super late in the day. So today's boob talk, we want it to be early. There's one. no such Everyone. thing as out of the way on this show. No. It's just continues. We have a continuous boob talk. <laughs> and that's what we do. <laughs> we do. And you're welcome, America. Mm, America. <laughs> glory, glory, hallelujah. Hi, Amanda. Hi. Are you in a better mood today? I am in such a great mood today. Really? Yeah. Why? What happened? Nothing. Nothing But happened. I decided when I woke up today and when I got dressed, I found a sweatshirt that I hadn't worn in a long time and okay. didn't know where it was. And I thought, you know what? That's an omen. I like this sweatshirt. I couldn't find it. I found it randomly this morning. That is a fun thing. Also, yesterday, Mike found an earring that I thought that I had lost. Oh, good. You did find the earring. I did find the earring. Yay. Yesterday, the one of the most awkward exchanges I've ever had with Amanda was yesterday. Was that yesterday? Was Two it? Two days ago. Okay. Two days ago. Sitting in Tom's office. Tom mm-hmm. is spouting off about something that I said that wasn't funny to him. <laughs> and Amanda walks in and sits down and has kind of a ho-hum face. And uh, Tom says, what is wrong, Amanda? And she says, I lost my earring. And then we're like, oh, okay, well, we'll help you look for it. We're she's looking like, around. She's like, no, I lost for it like a long time ago. I don't need, I don't know when <laughs> no, I lost it. No, 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 I lost it on Monday. Right. So on Tuesday, she comes in and she's like, oh, I lost my earring. And we're like, oh, okay, we'll help you find it. Well, she's I thought like, maybe I'd lost it here. Right. But you had not. No. You had so lost what it. was awkward about the exchange? Just she sat down, just mopey in the middle oh, of yeah. me getting like <laughs> talked to about how I'm not funny. And I was then trying she, to help you. She just walks in and sits down in the chair. Yeah, she was looking out for her morning show. But she had such a scowl. <laughs> so then Tom had to like address. Taking the heat off of you. Yes. Why would Tom find anything different about that than any I, other day? I don't know. <laughs> well, because normally she'll just walk past. Oh, right? yeah. This time she came in, she sat down, mm-hmm. and he was like, what can I do? And she's like, I lost my earring. And we're like, okay, All right. in here? <laughs> like, why are you sitting here? Nope. <laughs> so where was it? It was, and I had looked in this place. It was on the floor right next to the bed. Hate, I hate when it's right there on the floor next and to I the bed. And I had looked. Like, I had, like, felt my fingers through the carpeting and, like, okay. ripped the sheets off the bed. Maybe it was on the bed when you were looking and you flung it. Onto the floor. I don't know, but Mike found it yesterday. Yay, Mike. And so I was very happy. That's exciting. Did he charge you some sort of ransom for no, it? No, no. A he, finder's <laughs> fee? He brought it out, and he was about to take a shower. So all he had, he had said, like a towel around himself. So I was like, why are you coming out in the living room? Okay. So he put, he like had it in his hand, and he's like, hold out your hand. And I was like, what is he about to give me? Like some weird little thing. Yeah. And, he, and you put your hand out? Yeah, he puffed <laughs> the earring right on my hand, and I was like, what? Wow. I couldn't believe it. I so thought it was happy. lost forever. Did you then join him in the shower? No, I had already taken my to shower. celebrate? <laughs> oh, you can't have two showers. No. Yeah. I talked to my sister yesterday, and she goes, what is the deal with Amanda in this 70-day-long fight? And Seriously. I, like, oh. I think it's over now. Is it over? I mean, we didn't discuss the fight yesterday. Yeah! Yay! He stole her earring, got her mind off of the fight, found <laughs> her earring. Now he's the hero. Found it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Now he's the hero. Right. And, and we're all happy. Yay! Woo! I'm very happy it. to be reunited with my earring. I'm also very and happy. And your boyfriend. And my boyfriend. <laughs> because we have a... Uh, we still have candy corn in the studio. Mm-hmm. Left it here yesterday thinking, yeah, Wendy and Josh, they might want to have some. And they put a nice little dent in it, but it's still here. You had been eating that candy corn yesterday for like three hours. And That's true. you couldn't even tell that you had eaten no, any. No, you brought so much candy corn. Well, it's just a bag, but I, there were a lot of pieces in that bag, apparently. There are. Because by the on. time I started eating them in the 9 o'clock hour. I can tell you how many pieces there are. Does it say? Okay, so a serving is 21 pieces. Okay. And there are 11 servings. So 2,000 candy corns are in there. 231. That's it? I've eaten more than that. Ish. Okay. <laughs> I did old math. Oh, you wrote it down. And, and then, I may have forgotten how to do old Isn't math. that 2,000? 2,000 something? No. 22. Yeah, 231. 1,000. 
old math still works. Well, and so does calculator math, just a little <laughs> slower. Well, so there were 231 in here. I've had 100. You can't even tell. Hmm. They're delicious. Is there still half a bag? Yeah. But not for Remember long. when you were yelling at me yesterday for eating them while we were on the air? I was. Mm -hmm. I decided I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've given up. Yeah, doesn't matter to me. Doesn't bother me. <sighs> Look at that blob on TV. There's oh. some rain coming today. It's going to be wet today. There, supposedly there's a 100% chance of rain today and tomorrow. Now. Yeah. Today and tomorrow. They're saying like super heavy rain from tonight until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like just a downpour, like no, no letting up. It was sprinkling a little bit this morning, so... Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Let it rain. Whatever. On us. That's okay. Yeah, that is a uh that's a rough one. Look at that. Look at that high temperature on Saturday. Look at there's rain every day in the forecast except for next Wednesday. Fifty on Saturday. That's <laughs> That's good times. Uh, Chile. Uh, All right, so get the jeans out, get the sweatshirts. It's, we're going to be wet day. out on Saturday. Oh, yeah, we are. flannel days. Can't wait. Cedar Springs. We're going to be in the beer tent. Go figure. Are you wearing flan red flannel? I have a, a red flannel shirt, but the whole spirit of red flannel days is the uh, flannel underpants. Yeah, oh, yeah. That you wear underneath. I don't have a pair of those. Right. So, yeah, I have a red flannel shirt that I'll be uh, donning, mm. but it's not really what they're looking for up there. Right. So, I don't know. How about you? I saw that you're going to be wearing a coat. Connie sent out an email to us all to let us know what she's going to be wearing. <laughs> I didn't Saturday. get that email. Uh, I, I got uh. it, luckily. Uh, just to let you all know, I'll be wearing a coat, she said. And I was like, oh, good. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Connie. That we was in response. Did you get the email? I got the about email. Not you. Amanda, didn't you get the email asking about T-shirts? No. Oh, okay. Ixnay. Maybe they think I'm not going Never to be mind. there. Ixnay on the E-shirt. Well, it was, it was about something totally different. It was about something else. And then Connie, and I thought it was about red flannel days. Connie maybe was just waking up from a nap. Probably. And uh, fired off an email saying, no, I don't need a T-shirt. I'll be wearing a coat. It's going to be 50. Yeah. And then somebody said... And it was Connie. Somebody oh, said wait. nothing. <laughs> oh, wait. It was me. You're talking about the other day. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. So you'll have a coat on. I'll have a shirt on. Probably another shirt on. Two shirts. Are you wearing red flannel for red flannel days? I don't have any red. I don't have anything flannel. I don't know. I don't think I have anything flannel either. Oh, today is the day to go find flannel. No. Flannel find. I've shopped too much lately. I'm not allowed to shop anymore for a while. What? I know I had so many coupons that I had to use. Oh, okay. You got to get out there. Yep. Bed, had to use them. Bed, Bath, and Beyond, Kohl's. Mm -hmm. did, did you get 30% mm -hmm. of Kohl's? 20. Oh. I know. How much did you save, though? Like $700. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> I was just reading about that. How uh, that practice of starting out at a, a price that is so high that no one would ever pay right. actually got the uh, CEO of JCPenney's fired because he came in. And he stopped doing that. Right. He put all the prices as what they actually sell them for, mm -hmm. and the sales were down so much because we are sheep. We need we to like think, to know that we are saving money, even though we're not. Yep. That he we don't the, care. The sales plummeted, and they fired him, and immediately jacked the prices back up yep. to sell them for what their prices were right. before he got rid of that. Yep. Crazy. I remember that. Them saying they weren't going to have coupons or anything like yes. that. Like it was just one low price. It's uh -huh. like you're going to come in and you're going to pay what you want to pay. And they fired him. We didn't want no. open and honest. No, we didn't. <laughs> we, no. We want our We receipt. like to feel like we're being brilliant exactly. when we use a coupon. We want to be able to get uh, the milk for free at D&W. Uh -huh. Or we want to be able to get uh, $10 back with our M perks because we spent uh, two grand. You know, <laughs> We need that. That's what we need to see. <laughs> oh, that's so true. And it works. It works for us every time. Mm -hmm. But you say, hey, low price. No. No, thank you. I don't want a low price. No, I want to save from a high price. I want it to be high, <laughs> and then I want to pay the low price, but think that We're I'm so cheating stupid. you. We are stupid. Hmm. Fired the guy. But I saved seven hundred dollars. That's but you. It wasn't. Have, I don't remember what it you was. You wouldn't have bought that stuff. No, I would not have. <laughs> and no one. No one would. I don't even know what I bought. No one in the world would. But buy you those saved seven hundred dollars. No, I don't think it was seven hundred. That's like Katie joking. will be at Kohl's and. Uh, the Kohl's cash, she'll be at like $46, mm -hmm. and she needs four more dollars. Mm -hmm. So she will go find something to get a For $10. For 40 bucks. Yes, <laughs> to get 10 free dollars. It's like, 
what are you doing? I know. I don't get it. And you get all this Kohl's cash, and then you have just bought everything in Kohl's. So <laughs> right, I'm like, it. what am I going to do with this Kohl's cash right. now? And then I got another 20% in the mail yesterday. What? And then a family and friends, whatever, <sighs> something. And I'm like, no, I got to go back and shop some more. You know what you need to do? Put what? them in stockings. Oh. They don't last that long. No. Not Christmas stockings. Just have your Kohl's cash stockings and put them around and decide who gets them that day. Mm. Here's some Kohl's cash. <laughs> have some fun. Enjoy that. Yeah, because you could probably find something that you'd like there. Man, every time I'd be in there with your Kohl's cash. <laughs> right? <laughs> if I got it in my stocking. <laughs> but no. Hmm. I never get it in my stocking. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. With the, I mean, the patio stuff is on clearance. It's true. Could take some of those things. I was reading that if you're going to buy summer things, like tents and things like that, you need to go buy them now. And if you're going to buy but, coats, well, yeah. don't do not do that now. No, and no like big screen TVs or anything like okay. that. You got to wait till next month. Black Friday. Because of Black Friday. Black Friday is awesome, mm-hmm. right? Black Friday, though, in like two years, today will be Black Friday. Yeah, no kidding. Just August does, 1st. Because everything gets pushed back. Hey, it's Black Friday. Hi, Jason. Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. Jason, what's, what's up? up? Yeah, I wanted to say something about the uh, the clearance thing. I was at Meyer the other night with my fiance, and there was cream cheese was on clearance. It was five cents off. Okay. And every bit of the Meyer cream cheese or whatever cream cheese was on clearance was gone <laughs> from the shelf. But all of the clear or all the normal price cream cheese that was cheaper was all there. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? Five cents off. I had a uh, a buddy oh. who lived in Chicago, and we went to a uh, a Cubs game. So we're walking through Wrigleyville, which mm-hmm. is a little neighborhood around Wrigley Field, and we go to get a beer. And there's a huge sign. It says "Game Day Special, Old Style Tall Boy, ten dollars." Mm-hmm. And we're like, "Yeah, let's get those Game Day Special." He says, "You know, when there's not a game, what they cost?" I said, no, how much? He said, $6. Oh. They mark them up and put a sign, and we bought them like sheep. It's crazy. <laughs> and we were happy to. Like, yeah, game day special. Yeah. So, Jason, did you get all your cream cheese that you needed? <laughs> no, we bought all the normal price stuff. Yeah, it's cheaper. <laughs> it's not on sale. So, we, yeah, but we fall for it. Every single time. That's the reason why. Thanks, Jason. Every single time. Or bags of chips are either two for six or two for four. So they're like, I'll get to the two for fours. And they're smaller, but you don't care. <laughs> You're like, whatever. I just say, I got two for four. Two for six or one for three? I'll yeah, take one for I, three. I better get two for I'll six. Do, or those uh, ten for tens that they have. Or oh, the, yeah. Uh, the two, Yogurts. The two or... for tens. And then you'll you'll bring home 20. And then your wife says, you know, you can only buy, you need you don't need to buy 10. Right. <laughs> just because it says right. 10. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, as long well, as you have the card. Well, I got 10. Sorry. You can buy three. Oh, I bought 10. <laughs> We need another page. Okay, we got to stop talking about shopping because it's making me want to shop. Okay, let's talk about something else. Okay. We have nothing else. To talk <laughs> about. We have nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're bad at this. We are bad at this. We're What's bad. the opposite of shopping? Giving away your things. Okay, let's talk about that. When's the last time you gave away some things? When I moved into my house. Yeah, remember? You, Three months ago. Goodwill, Meltrano, they all got these things. Yep. You, you were happy to give them away. Mm hmm. When's the last thing I gave something away? Hmm. I don't know. Recently. <laughs> Amanda? Uh, I actually just gave some clothes to my mom when I saw her over the weekend. Does that well, count? That's nice. I feel like yes. that counts. <laughs> okay. Why wouldn't that count? Well, I feel like she's just holding on to them. Like clothes your mom's going to wear? Yeah, my mom wants them. Okay. Can I have these clothes? Yes. Were they Mike's clothes? No, they were mine. Okay. Why would her mom want Mike's clothes? Well, be, I'm saying for her dad. I'm saying it doesn't count if she's just like I gave some clothes to my mom. Now mm-hmm. we know a loophole over here is like it was a bag of Mike's clothes that I hate. And, no, and they she were was mine. supposed to dispose of them. And she liked your clothes. Yes. We share. You share clothes. Mm-hmm. She gave me a jacket. Okay. I gave her a bag of clothes. I have a, a Facebook friend who said, uh, I've finally reached the age where I went to put on a pair of shoes to go out, mm-hmm. and my daughter had worn them to school. Ah, uh, <sighs> that's awesome. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> People stealing awesome. your clothes? Yeah. <sighs> I think that's awesome. Well, we'll see. When I send the girls over to just raid your closet <laughs> to, to wear whatever they want. Absolutely. <laughs> they can wear my Uggs. Yes. They hey, would love that. Here I am. <laughs> 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 Wake up. Wake up. It's pink on the new channel, 95.7, 632.
Thursday morning with rain, and it's 58 right now. 74 is the high today. Yeah, it was warm driving in. Like, I it's know. like, what's going on here? Just fall out of your chair. No, I was just going back in because I had to pee really bad. Oh. <laughs> She's very boom, 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 boom. Very clumpy. And I try to be very quiet, but I was it doesn't op- work. I was the opposite of being quiet. That was like <laughs> so loud. Oh. So you peed? I did pee. <laughs> and then I oh, washed my hands. Oh, good. Okay, good. 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 Awesome. Glad to hear it, Amanda. <laughs> I worry about that. Yeah, me too. We're about three hours away from our uh, second to last qualifier for Daughtry. It's your sixth to last chance overall coming up at 930 this morning. I can't believe it's all going to be over on Monday. I know. Monday, 930 is when we call out the, the name of the winner. Yeah, so if you got qualified, that's the day you got to listen and the time you have to listen. 930 Monday. See, did you see that Ashton and Mila had their baby? I did see that. A little girl. So they uh, they went in at 6 a.m. They had the baby sometime at night, mm-hmm. and now they have a baby. Mm, how cute do you think that baby is so, going to be? Super cute. So uh-huh. cute. Or is it going to be the opposite? I know. No, it's going to be cute. Super ugly baby. Can you think of a famous person who has a super ugly kid? Famous people with ugly kids. I can't think of one. They all look cute to me. Yeah, we don't really see them. Or maybe we don't see the ones that... Right. And is any kid ugly, they really? They keep them away from us. I mean, aren't us? they all cute? I mean, they're cute, but some... I don't really think most babies are cute, though. They look pruny and... Well, yeah, they're tiny and sickly. Yeah. I mean, they're tiny little things. They look like birds. They look cute at about three months. <laughs> right. Unless it's your own baby. Yeah, everybody thinks their own baby's cute, And then you get cute, your right? own baby, and you're like, oh, my goodness, oh, this baby is so cute. Oh. And you, you well up. Not... I, bet th- I bet there are people who could be honest with themselves when their kid was born, and they were like, ugh. That's not a cute baby. I mean, I've definitely seen <laughs> ugly babies. So I guess I, you there are they do exist. Every baby I've seen lately that people that I know have been having have so much hair. Really? Yeah, it looks like they have wigs on. <laughs> so cute. Are you sure it's not a meme? Like a baby with wig yeah, meme? No, I'm sure. <laughs> this is actually their hair. It's actual pictures of the baby. Okay. Yeah. None of my kids had hair. No. At all when they were born. Little bald babies. Came right out, and then did you uh, think they were the cutest things ever? I, I think I did. Yeah. yeah, I think they were pretty cute, as I remember. And now they've grown, and you get to know them, and you're like, okay, yeah. Curtis, <laughs> shut up. What? No, that's serious, right? No. And you're like, okay, I, I get it now. I get where you stand. Stand in life. <clears throat> but yeah, I think they're all cute. I think they're still cute. They have a good time. They are cute. You just see their insides now, and you're like, ugh. <laughs> Would you stop it? You can't say anything nice without we, having to follow it up with some sort of slam. You say we got some work some to do. Some sort of dig. You do not have some work to do. We got work to do, do on some of these kids, right? All right, I'm looking at a gallery. I just Googled uh, ugly celebrity babies. Mm-hmm. Uh, going through the gallery, I can't really find any that are super ugly. Um, no. Who is that? <laughs> Hold on. Who is that? Who is that? Are you looking at the picture of Amy Poehler? I hadn't made it to the picture of Amy Poehler yet, but yeah, he's just a uh, a little chunk. He's just Amy got, Poehler's baby. Yeah, he's got red hair. He looks like he's about three years old, but he still is a baby. <laughs> uh, he just is big. I mean, here's his. So cute. Here's his picture. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah, Amanda, he's... do you think he's ugly? Amanda, no, I don't think he's ju- ugly. Amanda's no, a do. ginger hater. Amanda called out the Amy Poehler baby. Oh, my gosh. I think that's one of the cutest kids I've ever seen in my life. I was going to say that I don't know what I think about <laughs> Apple Paltro. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen Apple Paltro. So she, she is so thin. She looks like a very gaunt model, like a Kate Moss. Like a little five-year-old model? Yes. yes she okay. does. So that's the picture that I would say, I don't know if that's a cute kid. Oh, she does. But she's very, like, Weird. very fashion. Yeah. She's high fashion. Uh, Tyra Banks would love this person uh-huh. to have her on America's Next Top Model. Uh-huh. Uh, but I don't know if, is that a good look? Where your face is so just caved in and you're so skinny? I mean... That's her natural state, right? I mean, it's a fine look, <laughs> right? <laughs> but the complete opposite of this polar kid. Oh, that kid's cute, Amanda. I don't can't believe you think he's the <laughs> ugliest baby ever. No, I don't think he's ugly. Yes, you do. No. Yes, you do. No. That's why you're laughing. 
It is, See? It is why you're laughing. <laughs> and why she called him out. I know. Remember, Are you looking at I, Amy Poehler? I thought you had made it to the Amy Poehler baby. Because I said, oh, I said, so who cute. is this? And then we'll put the picture up. Cute or ugly? You decide. We'll put it up at uh, our Facebook page. And <laughs> Don't put Amanda thinks he's ugly because then everybody's going to be hating on Amanda. Yeah, and everyone slammed on me and yesterday she's for gonna, the chili dogs. No yep, one, and then no she's going to be in a bad mood. No one slammed on you for the chili dogs. They just were saying what the chili dogs looked like. That's not your fault. Even Mike read all the comments and came to my defense yesterday. Did he post? No, but he read oh. all the comments. Did- and then yesterday he, like, when he got home, was like, wow, people are really slamming you. That's not coming to your defense. That's egging on. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. He was definitely like, he felt bad. He should have posted on there. Attention, people. Yeah. Be this nice. is Mike. What up, Mike? Stop it. I don't care what you've heard. <laughs> I'm nice, and I'm so nice. is this chili. <laughs> this chili is not disgusting. It's not look like blood. It does look yeah, exactly yeah, like blood. It totally did look it like It looked blood. like if I was fishing with worms and I was going to dig my hand in and grab a worm. The that's, fattest worms ever. That's what I would dig my hand into, yep. and that's what I would pull out. Right? I mean, you, you, you're the judge. Here comes the bad mood again. <laughs> No, it's not that I'm the judge. It's that I have eyes, and everyone has <laughs> eyes. How do you spell uh, polar? One L or P O H L E R. I'm not sure if there are two L's or not. Well, I I'm, don't really know. I'm putting one. And that baby's so cute. P O E H L E R. I want to kiss his little face. Mm-mm-mm. You can now weigh in, cute or ugly, Abel Polar on our <laughs> Facebook page. Just oh, search Connie and Curtis. You're gonna be so mad about that baby's ugly. Well, he. No, he's not a good. He just looks like he is he's pooping cute. his pants. He's super cute. Doesn't he look as the I'm pooping my pants look? Kind of. Going on? Or he's just very intrigued by what's in front of him. <laughs> yeah, maybe there's a cat or a sock puppet. All right, you don't so know. Amanda hates gingers. It good seems. To know. <laughs> good to know that here I am with my hair still tinged. When are you getting your hair cut? It's the first. It's the second. It's the first. It's the second. It's the second. <laughs> and you said you always do it on the first. Sometime around the first. And okay, I, well, the second is around the first. I've yet to block off time. Is it going to be it. gone? I think it's going to be gone. I don't think so. If you look underneath, I'm not really growing out here on top. Yeah, you are. Because remember, I did it again. You damaged your hair so bad no, that because, now it's not going to come back. No, because I had to redo it to go to Katie's uh, right. reunion. Mm-hmm. And people were asking at the block party, is that still your hair from June? <laughs> and I said, yes. But and then I remembered, no, I redid it in August. So that's I think it's growing out enough. I think it's going to be gone. Well, we'll see. I don't get that much cut off the top, though. Do you hope hmm. that it's gone? No, I really don't care. Okay. Why? Why do you ask? No, I'm just wondering she if hopes. you hope. Are you, are you also <laughs> hating on me right no. now? Yeah, you're choking me up. No. I don't hate you or with so your much, hair. You're filled with so much venom. I Amanda. loved your hair. Don't you remember how much I loved your hair? I'm not going to get into a 70-day fight with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no matter how hard you try. No matter what you say, it's not going to matter. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to. Sheila says, I wouldn't say ugly, just not very cute. Oh, you guys, that baby's so cute. What's a day walker? That's a ginger. Day walker, says Jesse. ginger is a day walker? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. It's probably something super mean that we shouldn't be saying. Well, I said it two times. Daywalker. The fact that you're asking if kids are cute or ugly is very vain. Amanda. I-J-S. I'm not the one who said the question. No, you just said it's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> you're the only one who thinks that kid's ugly. He's adorable. You're very vain. Oh, my gosh. He's adorable. <laughs> he's adorable. Go to our Facebook page. It's Connie and Curtis. Connie and Curtis.